15 years, wounds are still fresh from the attacks of September 11, 2001, when thousands of Americans were killed Tuesday night. Members of the Manhattan, Kansas community gathered to honor those who are gone in their namesake in New York City. Brianne Smith has more. Well, you we're say, all Mr. here to remember the service and the sacrifice of the first responders and the people that were killed in the, in the Twin Tower bombings. Colonel Roger Murdoch, current chief of the Kansas National Guard, says this year's Freedom Rally is a significant event for the Manhattan community. Murdoch, along with many others in attendance, are still serving in the military. However, each person at the rally was serving in his or her own way. But, but it's important that we, that as Americans, we understand that we have the opportunity to serve our nation, our state, our community in a variety of ways. Nearly two decades after the attack that shocked America, Dozens of Kansans gather here in Manhattan to reflect and lift each other up. Those who came to show their support at Seacole Park included Manhattan area citizens, along with the Manhattan High School Marching Band and the Flint Hills Children's Choir. Sydney Carlin, state representative, says that getting the children involved is essential. Yes, yes, and, and to be, bring awareness to young people. Um, of the magnitude of what happened and the need to protect ourselves from future problems and such as that. To finish off the rally, a powerful moment of silence united the crowd among candlelight for those who have fallen victim to the tragedy Americans will never forget. This is um, one of those things that you never forget and uh, it, no matter where you were when it happened. Whether the event occurred in New York or in Kansas, people all across the nation will hold it in their hearts forever. In Manhattan, Breanne Smith, Channel 8 News. It's great to see the Manhattan community come together with the youth almost 20 years after the tragic events in New York.